excited, of course, for Friday Night Blitz, even though, of course, it's a little bit different this time. Uh, for those who are attending the games, temperatures are going to be very football-like. You know, we always talk about that football weather that we love so much, that pleasantly cool feel to the air. You'll have it around kickoff on Friday night, 62, 56 around halftime. We'll be on our way to the 40s for Saturday morning. And luckily, no rain in the forecast. We had a few sprinkles left for Blitz last week. Not so much this week. In fact, we're ending the month of September with a total of five inches, a little over that. Uh, 5.32 in the upstate over eight inches in the mountains. That gives us an over four inch surplus in western North Carolina and nearly a two inch surplus for September. Last September was very dry, so just goes to show you 2020 this different. That's for sure. Uh, temperatures in the upper 50s to low 60s for most upstate spots. We're in the 50s, even some 40s showing up in western North Carolina, 49 in Franklin and Fox Radar 3D all across the Carolinas looking good and it should stay mostly clear into tomorrow. We'll start off at 54 in the upstate, so there will be a little chill to the air. It's not going to be terribly cold, but the kiddos will need to be bundled up, but then shed those layers through the day. 80 by around 5 in the mountains, upper 40s with a breeze. That's going to be as the front is approaching. Yes, cooler air is coming. Tomorrow, though, won't feel so cool because that front won't be all the way through yet. Actually, plenty of uh, sunshine and comfortable temperatures have led me to give it a 10 on the Carolina Sky Meter. That's two perfect 10s in a row, and we may be looking at some more as we head toward this weekend. So that cold front will pass on through. We're going to usher in that chilly air for Friday night, and it will Will feel every bit like fall. So if it maybe has you heading up to the mountains to find some fall color, some of the high mountains are showing some of the really brilliant colors right now, but it's going to take a little while for the Asheville area, Hendersonville, a little closer to late October, early November for areas in the upstate. Now take a look. We've got the Caribbean we're watching right now, an area of disturbed weather with a 70% chance of development. The good news is it's expected to do a little boomerang action not expected to move into the Gulf of Mexico and cause problems thanks to an area of high pressure that should keep the Gulf Coast safe from what could be gamma over the next few days developing in the Caribbean. We'll keep you posted on that. But for now, our weather expected to stay quiet. We're going to see lowering temperatures toward Friday and even Friday night in the mountains. We could get some patchy frost and then a slight chance of rain heading into Saturday or Sunday night into early on Monday, mainly for the mountains. Okay.